Hi everyone, it is Theodora and we're here with Jorge Perotti to talk about auditions from the point of view of the panel. Now, Jorge is an internationally acclaimed conductor. He's conducted for companies like New York City Opera, Atlanta Opera. He's musical director of Opera in Virginia in Williamsburg, of Manhattan School of Music, Senior Opera Theater, and he is artistic director and founder of Tokyo International Vocal Arts Academy in Japan. He's undoubtedly a champion for young artists, so we're really lucky to have him here today. Jorge, first off, I want to thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me today. I want to kick off the conversation by asking you directly, what do you look for in a singer that you want to hire? It's, um, it's, it's a tricky thing. Uh, in a way, uh, the, the first thing that we hear in a vocal audition, in a singer audition, is the instrument. And, uh, uh, and you, you guys, singers, can work on it, and you can improve the production and the technique. But the instrument itself, it's, it's a gift, it's a, it's a talent. So there's so little you can do with it, but actually is your biggest uh, asset. Uh, so, so really the first thing that, that we hear is something that you cannot really do too much about it, which is your instrument. Uh, if, uh, and and it's, it's unfortunately a bit, um, um, Arbitrary is I like it or I, I don't love it uh, or I, I am excited about that instrument or I'd rather try someone else. Uh, so it's it's um, it's quite it's quite uh, discouraging to know that this, the the main thing is something that you cannot really do. But but that's that's we know that we know that we we uh, we know that the only thing we can do I mean you guys can do is is just do the best uh, you can with, with your instrument and, and love your voice and, and love what you do with it. So that's the first thing that, that we hear and uh, or that at least uh, I hear. Um, the, the second immediately is, uh, is the sound production, the technique, uh, how comfortable you are with it, um, how, uh, and how much are you able to, to make musical choices and dramatic choices with your, with your technique, how solid it is, how confident you make me feel uh, when you sing with your uh, technique, um, how uh, good the sound production is and how efficient your sound production is in, in all register and all dynamics and all challenges. So that, that is something that is, as we know, it's very important uh, for any musician, the technique. But those two things takes five seconds. <laughs> it's, you know, it, it's immediately is your reaction of the instrument and how you do it and how you use it. And of course, there's different moments. You see how you do the high notes, how you do the coloratura, how you breathe, how you make the legato. Um, so those are the first two things. And then the, the, the longer uh, effect is your musicality, your personality, and, um, and your um, performance ability. So your, how, how good are you to deliver um, a character, a story, and a text. Um, Certainly, uh, we are very attuned to intonation and diction and uh, acting skills, uh, and and all that adds to the to the package and certainly makes a things how much we like uh, one person compared with the other one. Thank you for sharing that. I think it's really important as a singer to hear that and to know that maybe the person in front of you doesn't vibe with your sound, but that's not necessarily something that you need to take personally. Um, my next question is also something that I know concerns a lot of singers, and that is making a mistake in an audition. And, you know, I'm not talking about like huge mistakes here. I'm talking about small mistakes. Is that important or not really that important? I mean, if there are accidents, it's not, a, not really a problem. Is there something that you learn wrong and you're not aware of it, it's also not a problem. And, and really, um, in an audition situation, and none of those issues are relevant because I'm going to work with you before the performance. 
So if you if you make a, a mistake, it's absolutely no relevance. Um, now, if the issue is that your technique is not able to handle the 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 repertoire that you, that you choose, or uh, your the mistakes is that your style is not appropriate, or the mistake is that your your diction is not close to what it should be are uh, those those are larger mistakes that those are no not accidents uh, and and it, it would depend <clears throat> if i think it's relevant to your future performance or it's not let's say uh, if your italian is not great but i'm looking to do a french piece or or english piece then they, they may not be relevant um if the intonation is an issue that's that would be something to be very careful about and but that's not really a mistake that has to do with the whole thing it, it's in your ear or your, your technique or your uh, you know uh, being a care careful about what you do but but mistakes like little accidents like wrong notes in the piano is not important so hopefully that will be comforting to singers who are listening right now. I want to ask you a question that's somewhat of a personal question, I suppose. In you, from your point of view, are you more likely to hire somebody who's technically perfect or someone who maybe isn't technically perfect but is incredibly moving? We immediately, as I said before, the sound and the technique will come right away. And it will be very important. Um, and often, often um, we we hear singers that are not technically absolutely flawless or or solid, but they do a lot what what they're doing. So and and that will be always more efficient, more more impressive. So if if maybe you still have issues to work on and that happens even with you know very very established professional singers that they are keep working uh, and improving things uh but but your personality is wonderful your musical personality is wonderful your musical ideas are fantastic and your character is lovely and and everything is just just very very endearing um the, the technique will be relative uh, so so it's I think it's very important that you feel comfortable with your technique and you should keep working on it but at the end of the day like everything a technique is a tool and is how you use your tool what is important so I recently interviewed Jennifer Larmore so I have a singer's perspective and I'm really excited to get a conductor's perspective what does consistency mean to you? It's, it's, that, that it's almost the same as reliability. Is that the singer uh, is able to uh, adapt to every moment and, and use all the tools that uh, the singer has to deliver his musical and dramatic idea. So the consistency would be uh, always be amazing and always be surprising and and it doesn't have to go in one direction or the next one uh and and if something happened the ability to change and, and make it something that you wanted to do or or not relevant because you are immediately delivering something wonderful and interesting so it's it's very good so i, I again uh, the consistency uh, and the reliability has to do with how you use the things and how able are you to uh, be constantly interesting and beautiful. Jorge, thank you so much for your openness and honesty in this conversation. I'm really looking forward to continuing our conversation next time and talking about movement, resumes, and just general advice that you have for young singers today. Um, for those of you at home, please subscribe to Jorge's YouTube channel and visit his website, www.jorgeperotti.com. I'm Theodora, and we've been in the wings with Jorge Perotti. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have questions you'd like me to ask in the future, please feel free to leave them in the comments below.